Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Control Magic. I am your host, Michael. Uh, tonight we'll be uh, kicking off our Popper Month. Uh, we kind of just decided this on the spur of the moment. Uh, so we're going to be doing Popper. Uh, we're going to be celebrating the common cards uh, uh, this month for On Control Magic. Uh, so tonight we're going to be building a Risen Reef uh, PDH or Popper EDH deck. Uh, so the rules of Popper are a little different. Instead of having a uh, legendary creature uh, card as your commander, you're allowed basically to use any uncommon creature as your commander, uh, which actually opens up a huge card pool. Uh, and I've chosen one of my favorite elementals that... Um, when I first started kind of getting into magic, uh, this was one of my favorite cards. Uh, this is Risen Reef. Uh, it's a three mana one one, which isn't too exciting, uh, but it has the text when Risen Reef or another elemental enters the battlefield under control. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, if you don't put the card onto the battlefield, put it into your hand. So it's a pretty reliable draw engine as well as a ramp engine. Uh, and it's just an excuse to play a lot of elementals. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so I kind of tried to build a popper EDH land base. It may have um, more, uh, I guess, dual colored stuff than it needs. Like you could probably get away with running a few more basics over some of this stuff. Um, but we're going to try this out. Uh, I've just a confession, I've never played proper uh, proper Commander. I've played some of the variants like Artisan, um, and we've played it on stream before. But uh, So it's a little difficult building just with commons. I'm not going to lie, I've tried to build other PDH decks uh, pre prior to this. Uh, and it is a little tricky. It's not the simplest thing to do. Uh, so some other some lands we're running, we're running Broker's Hideout. Which allows us to search for a forest, plains, or island card and put it on the battlefield tapped or gain one life. Uh, we've got Command Tower, which is actually a common. Um, Evolving Wilds, which is another one we typically run in. We've got our basics here. Uh, we've got the Cycling Lands, uh, just for some extra draw, like Lonely Sandbar and Tranquil Thicket. Uh, we're running Path of Ancestry, uh, which is just because we're doing a tribal deck. Um, Path of Ancestry enters tapped and when add one mana in your colors, commander's color identity. When that mana is spent to cast a creature spell, it shares a creature type with your commander, Scry 1. Uh, so Scry is also going to be really good in this deck since we care about the top of our library. Uh, which is why we're also running Quandrix Campus, uh, which adds a green or blue. And we can pay for in Scry 1. And we've got the Dual Snowland in Rhymewood Falls. Uh, we've got Simic Growth, Growth Chamber. We've got the Simic Guild Gate. Uh, we've got a Study Hall, which also is another scrying land. Uh, we've got a Tangled Islet, uh, Tangled Pool Bridge, uh, Terramorphic Expanse, Thornwood Falls, uh, and Woodland Stream. Uh, I also added a few artifacts that I think will go ahead and run Arcane Signet, Mindstone, and Simic Signet. Obviously, a, a good percentage of our deck is going to be elementals so that we can trigger that stuff so i think that's what we're going to start uh the other thing is there's not a resource like uh edh rec for pdh as far as i know so i did pull up some um other reason reef pdh decks uh to reference uh, but we're going to start just by searching for um elementals Um, I don't like really like Aeromiva. Uh, Aether Snipe seems good, especially because we can evoke it. Um, let's see, Air Cold Elemental. Uh, it's a little expensive, but we can put it until we cut. Aquamiba, same thing. Not a huge fan of the stats on that card. Uh, Barkweave Crusher has a list. Uh, it seems interesting. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of his list as a mechanic, but um, 
it might be okay in a common all commons like it might be worth the power level there uh, a prowler enters the battlefield mill three cards you may put a land card from among the cards mill this way into your hand if you don't put a plus one plus one counter Um, I don't know if the two mana one one, so it is cheap. You can add it. Uh, I don't know if we have enough other sacrifice type effects. Uh, we'll go in and add it. Blood Briar is a really great card, but I don't know if we have enough to. I don't think we're going to be running a lot of sacrifice, so we'll probably end up cutting that. Uh, Blue Hulk again. It'll depend on how many counter type stuff we have. Uh, for proliferating, it seems kind of interesting, but I don't know. Uh, Bori Elemental is a fun card, also from M20. Don't think Brackwater Elemental is good. Bramble Creeper is really expensive. Ramble Elemental could be cool. Uh, Bramble with Behemoth seems good. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Oh, hold on. My Discord's off. Uh... Test, 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 test. Okay, I think I can hear you now. Is this Goose? This is indeed Goose. Welcome, Goose. Sorry, I, Discord was still going through my speakers, even though all the rest of my audio is going through my headphones. That's hilarious. <laughs> Anywho, what deck are we making today? Uh, today we're making a Popper EDH deck uh, with Elementals as our primary theme. Ooh. Let's see. Hikar says, I can see Jank with this deck. I never considered a deck with nothing but commons. Level 4 or lower in my case cause Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Hikar could hear you. I could not. <laughs> it was probably coming through my mic through my speakers. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah. Carnivorous Moss be 7 mana. Put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Starts as a oh, 4 mana 6. That's my spot. Four mana, six mana, four, five. Seems bad. <laughs> uh, Chillbringer's fun. Cloud Elemental can block only creatures with flying. It's got great art, though. It's got the face of a cloud with birds flying around it. Uh, cloud can see is a real good elemental and just good draw. That's a 5-1 with Hexproof. Sure. Psycho Spawn Shambler Graph 6 enters with 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may move a plus 1 plus 1 counter from this creature onto it. Uh, pay a green target creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Gain Trample until end of turn. Uh, sure. It is 7 mana, but... Uh, mutate is not something I considered that we might be able to do with this deck. Uh, and if this creature mutates, draw a card. Sure. Uh, sacrifice Embodiment of Spring. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Sure. I'm fine with that. Fertilids. Great. Flood Chaser. And there's a battle with a 6 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Can't attack unless defending player controls an island. Can remove a counter to become an island. <laughs> no. Floodhound's not bad. Uh, Fog of is really bad. I like Frost Links. Uh, Guy's Protector's kind of fun. Glacial Crasher, trample this creature can deal can deal X. Uh, Glacial Crasher can't attack unless there's a mountain on a battlefield. Super specific. Uh, Very specific. <laughs> uh, we've got Glacial Stalker, which is four five with more for five. It's also kind of bad. 
Blade Watcher is a 2 mana, 3-3 three, three with Defender. It can pay 1 and it can attack this turn as though it didn't have Defender. Activate only if creatures you control have total power 8 or greater. Wow. Also terrible. <laughs> All commons, baby. Common elementals. Yeah. Uh, Glimmer Bell, pay 2, untap Glimmer Bell. Could be Not bad, I guess. Yeah. Uh, when Healer of the Glade enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. It is a one man. Oh, one do for two. one cost? Yeah, it's not terrible. Practical uh, Luna War Elf. It'd be nicer if it tapped <laughs> for mana. <laughs> Humbler of Mortals. A number of mortals are another enchantment under the battlefield under your control. Creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. Banning of your upkeep, sacrifice hungry miss unless you pay two greed. Oh, but it is a four mana six two. Mm -hmm. Uh Hydromorph Guardian seems cool. Pay one, sacrifice it to counter target spell that targets a creature you control. Uh I kinda like Ivy Elemental. Hey, Ivy Elemental. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to have one. Yeah, that's uh Theros, I think. Uh, when it enters the battlefield uh, with X plus one plus one counters on it. Oh, Leafkin Druid's really good in this deck. It's an elemental druid. Add one if you control four or more creatures. Add two green instead. Oh, that's neat. Uh, Living Tempest is a five mana three three with flash and flying. The art's really good on it, but... John, we've got Moldrifter, right? Uh, we're not to the M's yet, but we'll definitely add Moldrifter. Uh, living Totem. The creature has Convoke. When it enters the battlement, you pay a plus one, plus one counter on another creature. I don't mind that. It's a four mana, two, three, which isn't the greatest stats, but it does have Convoke. Maze Behemoth. Trample. Multicolored creatures you control at Trample. So it does give our commander Trample, but we're not running a lot of multicolored creatures at this point. Uh, same with Maze Glider. That's terrible stats. A six mana, three, five. It gives all your multicolored creatures flying. Uh, Moss Monster. It's a five mana, three, six. Interesting. Uh, there's Small Drifter, which Sean mentioned. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, draw two cards. It's a Is that a card. fish? It's just a flying fish. Yeah, it's an elemental, technically, but yeah, it's definitely just a flying fish. <laughs> Uh, Nimbus of the Isles, a 5 mana 3-3 three, three with flying. Orchard Elemental. Uh, cancel Council's Dilemma. When it enters the battlefield, starting with you, each player votes for Sprout or Farvis. Put two plus one plus one counters on Orchard Elemental for each Sprout vote. You gain three life for each Harvest vote. It's a 6 mana 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Uh, Orchard <laughs> Elemental. Yes. <laughs> then if it's straight with huge player votes for Sprout or Harvest, put two for each Sprout. But what the? That has what? to be the worst voting card. <laughs> I just, I don't there, see the point of it. There'd be no reason for your opponents to, to vote Harvest, not to vote we call, Harvest. We just call that a mana sink. <laughs> Fruits for Fens, Fists for Foes. <laughs> uh, Hikar says it's just a flying fish. Me who plays Splatoon raging with a rage unparalleled because fly fish. I do not get that reference. I've never played Splatoon. It always looked like a fun game, but I've never um, tried it. Phase Dolphin. Whenever it attacks, another target creature can, can't be blocked this turn. That seems pretty good. I wish it had uh, flying, but. As Primal Plasma enters the battlefield, it becomes your choice of a 3 3 creature, a 2 2 creature with flying, or a 1 6 creature with defender. Uh, it's flexible but bad. Uh, we're not casting kick spells. Silver Glade Elemental. It's a 5 mana 4-4, four, four, but searches for a uh, forest. 
It'd be okay. And, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Not good, but it's just not bad. Yeah, like that. It's like one of those cards where it's like in a format with just commons, that card might be fine. <laughs> and help you stockpile some mana in the mid game, but that's yeah. about it. Sort of beefy. Yeah, 4 4 is not bad in terms of common cards. Uh, flying Hexproof. 5 mana, 3 2. Soul of the Rapids. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, terrain Elementals and two mana three two. Like it's at least got decent stats for its value. It, nothing else. It has more power than toughness. Yeah. And for a price that big, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Uh, fastest Devourer. It's a mill card. It is a 2-6, which is interesting, but it's 5 mana for that. Five. And we're not run I don't think we're going to end up running a lot of enchantments. Yeah. Are, you're not running a mill deck, are you? Not yet. Uh, so Sean catching up. 6 mana, 2-2 two, two is the dumbest I've ever seen. <laughs> I think that was the voting card. Uh, we're no, definitely the... running Thicket Crasher, for sure. Uh, oh, it has control have to... Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that works because yeah. deck's full. Uh, when you cast your Thunder Drake, when you cast your second spell each turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Thunder Drake. Sure. Uh, let's see. Keyword is yet in the not yet part. Yeah. Uh, Tidewater Minion, 5 mana, 4-4 four, four with Defender. You can pay 4 and it, can, it loses Defender until end of turn. Or you can untap target permanent. Um, maybe the untap come into play? I don't know. Updraft Elemental, it's a 3 mana, 1-4 with Flying. Kind of bad. Uh, Vaporkin can block only creatures with Flying. It also has Flying. Uh, it's just like a it's like one of those spiders with extra steps yeah except it has flying itself <laughs> I don't mind it though it's a 2 mana 2-1 two, with flying Vorse Claw is a 6 mana 7-7 seven, seven. we don't have a lot of big things so that is fine by me uh, Walker of the Grove when it leaves the battlefield create a 4-4 four, four green elemental creature token also has a Voke it's a 8 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. Also not terrible. We can also do it for 5 just to create a 4-4 four, four elemental, which is terrible. Because it'll still trigger our commander. Yep. Uh, let's see. Water Courser. Plus 1, minus 1. <laughs> we You're essentially paying 4. <laughs> no uh, thanks. That one's not legal in this format. Although that would be a really good card in this deck. Uh, Wave Sister, Sifter. 5 mana, 3-2 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, investigate twice. Um, it can also be cast for its evoke cost. That seems good. Uh, this seems, seems really good just because it has landfall. It's a 5 mana, 3-4 with flying. But whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, it gets plus 2, plus 2. Until end of turn. So we're hopefully triggering that a couple times in our turn. Uh, I like the name of this, Wim Waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Can't attack unless defending player club trolls a blue permanent, though, so it's not a great card. No. At least not in this format. Uh, Bar Guide. Four, four. Five mana, three, three, though. <laughs> Yeah, so unless they absolutely have a forest or you have some yeah. way to make the trees uproot themselves and go to your player side, that's a no good. <laughs> yeah. You can get uh, a lot of cards that did that. Yeah, I don't mind the forest walk as a mechanic. It's just not great for this deck. <laughs> or if you're Definitely meta, not. I guess if your meta is very green dominated, then maybe, maybe that's a great card in your meta. <laughs> Um, uh, Zephyr Winder, it's a two mana elemental, two one flying. When it deals combat to player, untap one target creature. That's great. One target creature. Uh, so it could essentially untap itself. 
Yeah, it could. Uh, okay. So that's at least elementals. Uh, let's look at some of these other decks, see what they're running. Uh, do we run Aether Snipe? I think we did. Yeah. Uh, Aether Theorist. Is it? bad because it, it gives us at least three scries but then we're kind of i don't mind augury isle owl just as a thing to scry our deck uh, let's steal that It's not legal in this format. We did. Sh uh, Descendant of Sora Maru seems good in this deck. Uh, pay two, look at the top X cards of your library where X is the number of cards in your hand, then put them back in any order. Allows you to kind of st stack your deck for Risen Reef, which is kind of cool. What's the commander of this deck? Uh, so it, it is Risen Reef. Uh, it's a three mana, one one elemental. Uh, when, whenever Risen Reef or another elemental enters a battlefield under your control, look at the top card of your library. If it is a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield tapped. If you don't put the card onto the battlefield, you may put it into your hand. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so that's why we're running all these elementals to so just try to trigger this. So we'll probably need to look for <laughs> landfall effects as well. Um... We've got a couple so far. Yeah. I don't find fairy scenery either. That's not an elemental. Yeah, but it, it allows us to scry, so we can kind of make sure we're getting elementals. Or lands, the case may be. Yeah, yeah. Whichever one we need. I don't know if we have that many wizards. I don't think that card's that good. I guess you automatically have one. Uh, otherwise, they're running a lot of the same cards we are. Element speaker. Seed guardians not legal. Uh, sigiled starfish is really good. Also fits with the whole like reef thing. <laughs> nope. Hatchling's not legal. Thick Crasher. Uh, we could have the Automaton. It's a 1 mana 1 1 changeling. It's technically a. a elemental. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Walker the Grove, I think we have. Yeah. Wave Wing Elemental. We added. Yeah. Uh, Ponder's good. Preordain's good. Sarah Visions, I think, is weird, but I think it's also good. I'm kinda curious what else they added. Our land base is very similar. Shielding plaques. Uh seems fine. Draws a card, can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. Uh Rancor seems good too. Just because it keeps coming back to us. Aqueous form also seems really good. Uh, oh yeah, Games Done Quick is also going on right now. Oh really? Yeah, they're doing Sonic Adventure right now. <laughs> I watched him do the uh, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes last night. It was pretty sick. I want to say I was watching them do... I think it was Mario 64 a while back. Alright, oh, they're on Tales of Story. Uh, let's see, Neurox Stealth Suit, can't be a target spells abilities. I always thought this card was cool. Uh, Explore Scope, look at the top card of your library, land card. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, I don't really like it. 
So you're running Whiplash Trap. The opponent had two or more creatures in the battlefield under control this turn. You may pay one rather than the spell's mana cost. Uh, return two target creatures to their owner's hands. So it's not bad. Vines of Vastwood, Kicker. Uh, the creature gets plus four, plus four. I like Unsummon. Sprout, Swarm, Convoke, and Buyback. Put up one one green sapling creature token into play, sure. Various time twist, yeah. Snapback is also a really good one. Uh, so these were a lot of just like protection effects. Just mana leak. Yeah, we can add mana leak. Foils worth playing. Dive down is kind of funny. Uh, curfew. Curfew school. Crop rotation is good. Consider is also good. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of condensed. Capsize seems good too. Storm is also a common card. Uh, love cards that say no to effects that target them specifically. Yeah, that's a great effect. Applied by Wancy. Yeah, come on. No to effects that target them specifically. Oh, uh, yeah. Hexproof. Used to be called this card cannot be target of spells or abilities. But now they're just like, it's called Hexproof. And yeah. then they explain <laughs> what that means anyway. Uh, we could run the Landfall Enchantments. Uh, that one draws us two cards, sure. Uh, this one searches for two basic lands, sure. Uh, what instance are we running? Cultivates, also good. Kodama's Reach is good. Nature's lore is good. That's probably the most expensive card in our deck, to be honest. Three dollars and thirty-two cents. <laughs> uh, Raven form is also really good. Uh, Arcane denial. I don't mind counterspell. two nature's claims uh, but I do like in return to nature is just removal um, don't mind adding wood elves to the deck spore mound seems pretty good so the token creator I haven't seen these other decks yet, so I can't comment on them. Is it still, is it not streaming in? Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. No, I can see it. It's oh, just gotcha. that. Yeah, the, I'm at, I'm at the decks you're physically going through here. It's so like Pot of Greed, huh? That card is always getting its effects explained, even though peep, everyone and their dog knows it. Let's you draw one card and add to your hand. Sean just said, "I see you." <laughs> Soccer with Tri Battler. This one actually put the Orchard Elemental in there. <laughs> Mad lad. Same with. I don't understand. Why did they add Maze Glider and Maze Battle? There's only one dual colored card in this deck. I do like adding Land of War Elves to the deck. 
Nope, not crazy about adding Lionel or Augur. Um, I don't know if life games that important to us. Sticks are kind of not great, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, last one. Uh, Mewboy Changeling seems good. Uh, target creature gains all creature types until end of turn. Target... Actually, I don't know if that's. You can't do that while wow, it's like being cast. I don't mind this card just to get the Monarch. This one's running some like big creatures, I think, just so that you can like, because uh, you're gonna be ahead of on mana, which I don't mind that idea. Like having an eight, eight nine with Trample, I don't hate that. Can't remember if we added Dynamic Growth or not. Crashing Drawbridge also seems good to give our elementals haste. Um, I don't like Mass Vandal either. Use a land card in your hand and put it into play. Play this ability in this. Uh, I don't think we're going to be putting many lands into our hand. I like the scythe cat. Uh, hey. Landfall whenever land enters a battlefield in control, put a plus one plus one counter on territory scythe cat. Got it. Uh, I don't mind Ulamog's Crusher either. <laughs> Just has something to ramp into. Kind of like Wildheart Invoker as well. That's something to sink mana into. We have Tamiya safekeeping, but I like that card a lot. Interesting card. Could run Memory Lapse. I don't think I want to. I like Growth Spiral. Uh, I like Eureka Moment too. Displace. I like Displace. I like witness protection as just like kind of a removal. And enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a green and white citizen creature with base power and toughness 1-1 one, one named legitimate business person. Uh, Wild growth doesn't seem bad, but I think we have enough uh, react type stuff. I love the art on Robe of Mirrors. It's so good. Uh, fall from Favor. Diplomatic Unity. Okay, I think that's kind of those decks. Let's see if there's any other... Let's refresh this first. Well, let's see if there's any other landfall effects we think are worth adding before we start cutting this down. Vendoring gear is not bad. Uh, it's an artifact equipment. Landfall whenever land enters the battlefield under your control. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I don't mind that. Calcite Snapper. It's a three mana, one four turtle with shroud. Uh, you can switch its power and toughness till end of turn. 
Uh, can't be bail off, I don't mind. Whenever land enters a battlefield under control, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Uh, Groundswell is eh. Gladeheart's kind of meh. Rover is also kind of meh. Same with uh, Scrabbler. I already have that one. Ton of just life gain stuff. Uh, that's a five mana draw three with landfall. I'm not crazy about that. Stone Cedar Hierophant seems good. Uh, it has landfall whenever land enters the battlefield under control. Untap it. You can also untap target land. I wonder if we could make that go infinite. <laughs> uh, Windwider Eel. Okay, so not a lot of great landfall trigger stuff. Uh, I am wondering if there's... I can't remember if Viridian Longbow is... I think it is, yeah. Yeah, so we could also add this in combination with that card we just added. Uh, Stone Cedar Hierophant to ping people for a lot. Um... I don't like that combo. I don't know if it's actually that reliable. Like, I don't know how often we would be able to trigger it, but. Yeah. Seems iffy. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we've got, our lands are set. We're at 38 lands and kind of a landfall deck. So I think we're not adjusting that anyway. So we have to cut 46 cards. Um, we have 64 creatures, so that's, where a good percentage of them is probably going to come, but... Um... Aether Snipe, return target non permanent. So I think I like Aether Snipe over Air Cult Elemental. Uh, probably got the Air Cult Elemental. I like the Owl. I like the Fleet Admiral just for draw. Crusher's interesting. Uh, I think we can cut the Prowler. We're not sacrificing anything, so we can cut the Blood Briar. I don't think we have enough proliferate effects either, so I think we can cut the Bloom Hulk. Um, I don't mind this, but it's not. I think we'll keep that for now. Um, I don't think we have any that many auras that are. I guess we have one, two, three. So the Bramble element is probably not worth it. Uh, let's see, we've got Tramp six is trampled's fine. I don't know if this is it's a fourth mana four three with gets plus two, but I think that's fine. Uh, I like Chillbringer, but it is a little slow. The Owl Elemental. <laughs> I really like the Art on Cloud Elemental. Like an angry face in yeah. the sky. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of storm crows, around. yeah. Uh, I like Kyle can see here a lot. This was one of my favorite cards in M20. Uh, Confer Strider, it's a 5 1 with Hexproof for 4. I think we'll cut that. You'd think for something as tall as a Conifer tree would be really tough, but it's only got a 1 as its toughness. Yeah, I guess they're going for it's really powerful because it's so tall, but it's really thin. I don't know. <laughs> it's so weak that 
baby's first adventure can knock it over. Yeah. <laughs> Cyber spawn shambler, seven mana, enters with six plus one plus one counters. Well, a five is still a hell of a splinter. Yeah, that's true. Uh, target and it's X brook, so uh, good luck targeting it. All right, what are we on right now? Uh, Cyber spawn shambler. Oh, I recognize that one. Uh, From uh, Ravnica. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's either Ravnica or Gate Crash. No, Dissension. Ravnica block, though. Yeah, it's a. Uh, part of the. Not the Simic, but what's the. No, I think it is Simic. Is it Simic? I thought it was the. What's the. Simic uh, is the one white... that does all the mutants. Yeah. Uh, Selesnia and... is the. Like, nature Selesnia, guild. yeah. To have their. It, you can tell by looking at the symbol where the card's description is at. Yeah, that's the Simic symbol. Alright, yeah, it's Simic Dawn. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because I got that in a Simic deck. Yeah. Uh, Descendant of Soramaru. Soramaru. I think I like that card in here. The Heron can go. We don't have any other mutate effects. Uh, the Devastator is an 8 9 trample, which is, I think is still fine because we're running so many ramp effects. Yep. Uh, Ikari Power says, depends, depends on how deep the roots are. I assume referring back to the conifer. Uh, that is true. Uh, Elvish Mystic is great. Embodiment of Spring is interesting. Um, Fairy Seer, also good. Fertilid, good. Bloodhound, good. Uh, Frostlinks, I like better than Chillbringer, so we'll cut Chillbringer. Or Chillbringer has flying. I think I like Frostlinks just because it's cheaper. Uh, Fintorn Nels. Gaia's Protector, I think we can cut. I like Glimmer Bell. Uh, Glimmer Bell also kind of works with the Viridian Longbow. <laughs> Less efficient, but still works. Uh, let's see, we've got Healer of the Glade. Enters. It's a one mana one two with gate three life. I think we like these like one mana elementals just because we can cast more of them in a turn. Yep. I like Hydromorph Guardian. This is a weird counter spell. <laughs> Ivy Elemental, I think, is good. Leaf Kindred is really good. Living Tempest, I think we can cut. Uh, my cat decided to say hi. Hi, Kitty. Uh, let's see. Living Totem. Vogue. I still like Living Totem. Actually, wait. When it enters a battlefield, we put a plus one plus one counter on another target creature. Yeah, it's still fine. I know our elves good. Uh, Mass Vandal is removal. Moss Monster, get cut, Moss Monster. Mold Drifter is really good. Omen Speaker are good. I like Phase Dolphin in this deck. Why is it. I hate that the typing. Like, it is a dolphin, but it's the typing is whale. Well, like why, that's, how, that's not how that works. Why can't they just add a dolphin type? Or just say it's a beast because it is a mammal. Yeah. Agreed. It is, it's an animal. Uh, I think we have enough of these effects. We could probably cut Sage or Savant. Like Soccer Tribe Elder. I like really like Sil Sigil Starfish. Uh, I still like the Silver Glade Elemental. I could cut Soul of the Rapids. I like Spore Mound. I like Stone Cedar Hierophant. Um, dolphin being typed as whale makes sense. <laughs> I can see how it's silly though. At least it's not fish. Yeah, that's true. It could have been typed as elemental fish. Uh, terrain Elemental, I think I'm fine with Territory Skyrift, Thicket Crasher, Thunder Drake, 
I work out the tide water to begin. I like Ula Box Crusher is another thing we can ramp into. I like Universal Atomana as a one one mana one one changeling elemental. Don't mind Vaporkin, don't mind Force Claw, Walker of the Grove. Uh, maybe Kelp, what else? It's got about 20, cre 10 creatures there. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm fine with cutting Serum Visions, fine with cutting one of these. We'll cut which one's cheaper? Cut Kodama's Reach. Uh, yeah, artifacts that we need to. Maybe we cut the Mind Stone. Here's another. Cut some of the essence too. Cut the whiplash trap. Cut your Eureka moment. Let me cut crop rotation too. Actually, no, Brainstorm's great. It allows us to filter the top of our deck. Be right back. I'm going to make some soup. That sounds good. What kind of soup? We'll find out when he returns. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's sort by cost. stuff for this to actually matter, so I think we can cut this one. Cut the Boreal Edimental, because we have a lot of five drops. Um, let's see what else do we have. A lot of... We can maybe cut the Bayloth. Doesn't have trample or anything, so I think, we, and it's not going to get trample with our elemental. So I can cut that. Um, we cut the admiral. We have other forms of card draw. look like oh it's such an interesting curve <laughs> um, 
We have a lot of two drops. Cut that's the current Steve. I kind of like the Zephyr Whiter or the Vapor Tim. It's kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe we'll keep it. I kind of like the one mana elementals. We have too many instants right now. We want, I think we probably want around 40 creatures, and the majority of them being elementals. Um, which I know that sounds crazy, 40 creatures is a lot. the signet. I think we need it. Um, okay, we've got 10 cards left to cut.
five down. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely one of the interesting parts of deck building. Um, it's always the most difficult part, but I agree, it is probably the fun part. Um, deciding kind of what's important to the deck, what you can cut, what your deck's ultimately going to do. Um, and it's all like personal opinion, too. It all kind of depends on your opinion on cards and effects. Um, seven cards left. seem like like all of these still seem pretty good I have three one ones at the top, so maybe we got one of those. Which one's the most pricey? I guess I don't know what those is. It's kind of surprising. Uh, we'll move that one. We cut six, that puts us at 33 creatures. Uh, I could cut nature's lore. Probably don't really need it. It's a really good card. Yeah, got it from the fat. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if they let me play 120 cards in an EDH deck, I probably would. But uh, there is not currently anything that lets you do that. So we do have to trim down. Which is good. It's good to limit the amount of cards in your deck. Um, and it, it's one of the things I like about Commander Adjacent. Commander and Commander adjacent formats is that you're limited to that hundred card deck. Um, we do have a lot of two drops, so maybe we can cut the terrain elemental since it does do a lot. Okay, we're down to four cards to cut. Bridge. It's not super important that we're attacking. Although I like it at 2 mana 0 4. Yeah, you would spend a lot of time shuffling if not for deck limits. Or no time shuffling at all. You shuffle it once really good and then you never have to shuffle it because you're, you never see the end of the deck. Cut the invoker. Um, yeah, I think we can cut the invoker. Uh, three cards. Could cut three. We cut to fairy's time twist. I think I like ghostly flicker a little bit better.
card I want to add. Might be uncommon though. be legal in this format. Yeah, it might be an uncommon, not common. Been there before in a different game, lost because of it too. Not a single monster can be summoned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is a magic card. Um, I think it's called Battle of Wits that does just win the game if you have I think it's over 250 cards in your deck. Um, but I never know how reliable that is unless you run tutors <laughs> even then you spend a, a portion of it just searching for that card all right i return with foodables oh we were everyone in chat's curious what kind of soup you made wait a second uh is there let me see Sean says it's over 200. It's a weird card. Yeah, I agree. It's a very weird card. Um, I must not be on Twitch then. Um, this is a kind. I get the Well Yes brand from Campbell. Okay. And I always get the roasted chicken with rice. That sounds good. It is very good. I put a little bit of seasoned salt in it and good times. I'm supposed to have soup later this week. Um, let's see. I've got two cards left to cut. Um, I'm struggling. Uh, I think Campbell sells soup here. Might be under a different name though, like Walkers and Lays. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I want to say Campbell's is owned by someone else at this point. Maybe Nestle. I don't know if that's for certain. I may be completely wrong on that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have the same soup under a different brand in a different country. Um. Generally, they try to push the brand, especially with Campbell. Yeah. Because Campbell got popular <coughs> by spreading, by winning a medal in France during a World Fair. I didn't know that. <laughs> yep. That's why when you get the regular Campbell's chicken and noodle, they have that medal that's on the front. That's the one they won. Hmm. So it made him a household name. And, uh,. Well, they could, because I know that's a thing that Aldi's does, mm -hmm. where they buy surplus um, groceries and then rebrand them. <laughs> Technically legal. <laughs> Car says we definitely have it up here then, yeah. Yeah, and Aldi's, yeah, and Aldi's is an interesting store. Uh, uh, where are you, in Hikari? Are you in the, the great ice land of uh, Canada? I'm trying to remember where Hikaru is from. Where are you from again? I didn't think you were in Canada. Scotland. Yeah, I was thinking somewhere up in that area. I couldn't uh, remember exactly. Scotland. Oh, I love the... I believe Caramel is vacationing in Scotland right now. Oh, yeah. I think, she, yeah, I think Caramel is up there. Uh -huh. 
this is so tough. I don't know about that. Diet Canada. <laughs> See, we know Scotland because of the bagpipes, uh, the kilts, and uh, that one 80s movie took place there. Whereas um, Canada has no, hockey, no <laughs> maple syrup, and moose. Completely different. Yeah, if anything, I think Canada is Diet France. True that. Whiskey too, yes. Uh, maybe this too. Highlander grog. That's actually a kind of coffee I like drinking. Thank you for that. Uh, I think we could cut the crush. I don't want to cut elementals though. <laughs> uh, maybe the omen speaker. <laughs> Sean says Canada is diet. U.S. The weather keeps us more chill too. <laughs> more chill though. Yeah. I actually think Canada is very cool, and I want to I want to go back to Canada at some point. I've been there a long time ago. I think I went to Victoria. I would like to see other parts of Canada. I know Sean is originally from Canada. Uh, one card left. Spike Vegeta is streaming <clears throat> for a Games Done Quick. He's doing Majora's Mask. Uh, a Blitz of, randomizer. Speaking of weather, it was hot here for once. Had to turn on the AC and open two windows on my car. We've had AC running in Texas for almost a few months now. <laughs> I think it was in the 90s today. Uh, yeah, it's hot here. Uh, yeah, and it's been raining a lot too, so it has been super humid. That's a good point, Sean. Uh, oh man, cutting one card. I could cut the shielding plaques, but I think I, it has to be probably... is so funny. I think we can cut a one drop. Or two drop. Um, All right. I don't like all our two drops though. Kind of like our one. Oh, that's how you get AC is you just open the windows. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it is interesting. Like the further north you go, and you just don't need AC, and you just can use windows. It's it's such a wild concept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sean says, "Save me from all these brochures. I must print." <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean is prepping right now for uh, Acon. Acon. Yep. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Dallas this weekend. Actually, I guess it's technically in Irving. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I will be there for sure Saturday. Uh, I think Sean, Autumn, I think Marcus too will all be there uh, most days. I think uh, Kinji in the Discord is going to be there this week in the weekend. And I want to say John is also going to be there for Saturday, Sunday. I can't remember the schedule off the top of my head, but... Uh, yeah, if you ever wanted to meet any of the Control Out Crit Crew, we'll be at Acon uh, on various days. Yes, Linnell too. Linnell will be there this weekend as well. Uh, if you want to play Magic with us, we'll have uh, Commander decks. We'll have Dan Dan. We may have Yargle Bargle. I, don't, I haven't talked about to Sean about that. I do not know if that's confirmed. We'll have Yargle Bargle. Uh, yep. But uh, yeah, we'll be there. We'll be having fun. Should be a good time. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, 
still need one card to cut. I don't. <laughs> so tough. Maybe cut the, the elemental whale. Oh, uh, he did not get all the cards this time. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll have Dan Dan and we'll have some commander decks. Um, and I think Marcus might be bringing his cube. He's potentially said that. I don't know if that's for sure. <laughs> I'm actually curious how many Yargles Marcus has. <laughs> It's definitely something we can, uh, I guess at the next convention we go to, we'll, we'll see. I'll see if I can proxy the Yarkle, Yarkle Wargle. He has 12? 12, 12 Yargles for the most recent set. That's a lot of Wargling. <laughs> it reminds me of the time I had a guy on the bus I used to ride to school had this uh, Frogmite deck. There was nothing but Frogmites. That's beautiful. <laughs> And he had one that was holographic, so he called it the Frogmite King. It had no <laughs> stat changes whatsoever. It was yeah, just another just, Frogmite. Yeah. <laughs> Frogmite. <laughs> Sean says Frogmite is best. Affinity. <laughs> uh, do I just cut Gross Spiral? I don't know. I want to make an even 35. I got a couple of I think I'm just gonna cut face dolphin. Like it's good, but it's not that good. There, under cards. <laughs> uh, let's do let's do a sample test hand. Let's see what we get. Uh, that is a terrible hand. Uh, maybe playable. Uh, next turn. Play relief kid. That sack it. Uh, search near an island, and it will let me know is the next card. I'll close and shuffle. Prize for winning the Mirrodin Cube is a From the Vault copy of Memnarch and a sealed OG Mirrodin booster pack. We have a hundred, damn, 150 bucks in prizes for Commander and EDH. That's exciting. Uh, okay, can't do anything with that. Next turn, we probably cast Risen Reef. For three. Uh, there's a battlefield. Look at the top card. Let's reveal. Nice, that can go into the battlefield tapped. Ramping. Close the shuffle. Actually, I don't think we have the shuffle. Uh, next turn, got an island. Um, I think we play this war mound to start getting landfall triggers. Two, three, four, five. Why John bit in the... Oh, that's the prizes. Yeah, no, that's exciting. The OG Mirrodin booster pack is gonna be could be insane. Looking forward to for all the 21XX Stargate Pokemon and MTG shenanigans all weekend. That should be fun. It looks like sounds like it'll be a good time. Yeah. I'm gonna try and wait, save up for a uh, Gen Con so I can properly, formally meet up with you, gentlemen. Yeah, I forget when Gen Con is. That's in November normally, isn't it? Not for a while. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't go last time because it's just like, I'm like, man, Gen Con, it sounds so great. Too bad I can't go. And then I realized, wait, that's in Indianapolis. I can get there in like an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, not that far. Uh, I go see. there all the time. So. Let's play four. That is an elemental. I have not. I, need, I should have been creating sapper links. Uh, uh, let's next see. year in 2024. That this makes year sense. Is local for financial reasons. Yeah, that's fine. All right, good to know. Uh, that will tr I need to. I should have been adding tokens. Is or maybe I could go and push the 21XX brand. <laughs> there you go, Sean. <laughs> uh, to please view the top of library. Your top card. 
That is an elemental, so we can put that into our hand. We are going to boost that. <laughs> He's like, please do. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got two, so we can evoke. All right. That. My presence is requested elsewhere, so I must bid you all adieu. Yeah, thank, thank you for, for joining the stream, everybody. I hope you all have a great evening. Yeah, everyone say goodbye to Goose. Oh no, Sean is running out of printer ink. Oh, that's not good. Uh, what you need now is paper jam. Autumn is printing shorts. Okay, awesome. Uh, do I need to pick that up before? Uh, or will I need to be picked that up before? Uh, good point. Okay. Yeah, just let me know if I... Because you... S yeah, okay, that'll be fine. I can do that. But yeah, if you just remember to bring it, I will change and do it. Uh, do, uh, one other question, Sean. Do you need me to bring, like, play mats or anything? Uh, this would go to the graveyard. You'd reveal the top card. that to hand. Oh, it's a Trinkle Bit. Okay, never mind. That goes to the battlefield tapped. We get another Saproli. Uh, we also get a counter on this. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, play that survive our LGS sponsor, Simplicity Esports. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, should look into fancy inks and pens. I have iron for transfers. Yeah. I can't remember if... I think Autumn might actually be screen printing these. Uh, which is really cool. That's really excited. Um, uh, yeah, I think this deck is kind of cool. Uh, I I may try and see if I, can, if I have enough of elementals to build this for... Um, Next week, we will be doing a popper uh, commander night. Uh, so I may try and build Risen Reef. I may build a different popper commander. I'm kind of... I really like the potential. Screen printing is much harder than folks realize. Yes. No, I, it's, I think people think that you can uh, just do multiple colors at once. Uh, but yeah, you know, you have to do it multiple times of pressing it uh sean is going to be bringing chandler back uh well that all should be interesting i don't know what i'm going to bring yet i i risen reef sounds interesting to build uh the other one i was thinking was phyrexian sensor which i'll uh bring up scryfall just real quick to show you all uh which is going to be more of a staxi deck but i don't know if i'll have time to assemble the pieces for that um uh, But this was the other uncommon commander I was, or commander I was considering for a PDH deck, which is Phyrexian Center. It's a three mana white, mono white uh, Phyrexian Wizard. Each player can't cast more than one non Phyrexian spell each turn. Non Phyrexian creatures enter the battlefield tap. Uh, so it's just a really hateful card. Um, so this is another one I was considering building. <laughs> yeah, Sean says, Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Yeah, I, that was that was like uh, the only other popper EVH deck I've built. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, Phyrexia only. Uh, so it's mostly just Phyrexian cards and stuff that like taps your creatures. Um, and like stacks effects. I don't know if I have time to build this deck. I may just end up building a. Uh, yeah, I may just end up building whatever I f on comments I can find that sound interesting uh, to build around, and then just looking through my comments to see what colors I have good common cards at. 
yeah, it's a pretty cool card. I have one copy of it, I know, and I threw it in one of my Phyrexian decks. Uh, I combined the two Phyrexian precons. I think I threw it in that. Um, oh, a hateful card? I love it. Then again, I do like mean cards. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting deck. I think it's very cool. Uh, but again, it, I don't know if... Uh, for Jet Con, um, I'm for sure bringing Ovika because I that's like the new hotness that I haven't gotten to play yet, uh, and I finally got most of it proxy. Or the cards that I needed prox. <laughs> Sean's means Acon, yes. Um, I'm probably gonna bring a Precon. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring the Convoke Precon that just came out, just because I want to play that. And then I'll probably bring a couple other decks maybe. Um, I'm gonna try and bring different power levels just because I don't know what other people are going to be bringing that are going to be playing with us. So I'm going to try and bring a multitude of power levels just to try and match what other people are playing. Uh, but for sure, Vika, I think Kosla, the Broken Halo, uh, Dan Dan, and maybe uh, maybe something else. Uh, maybe the... Um, my Saproling deck, the green black um, graveyard hate deck. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now let me go back to our deck we just built. Risen Reef PDH. I think this deck's cool. Uh, I'm cu really curious to try out this formula, like just with everyone playing it, because last time we played Artisan, but some people were playing PDH. And uh, so I think Artisan kind of. The, the Artisan decks had a unfair advantage i'm kind of curious what pdh is like uh, I'm, ex I'm excited to play it we're also gonna be playing just 60 card popper this month um and i don't know i think i'm probably gonna be playing racto sacrifice for that but I, i'm not totally decided i think sean said he may have an affinity deck for popper which i also would be excited to see um but yeah that's what i'm i'm excited about that also this deck is only $30 like if you really wanted to build this deck it's not too bad like uh Sean has affinity it's spooky okay I'll try and build a sacrifice deck a uh, Rector sacrifice deck I think it'll be pretty good um there's a combo in Rakdos that I really like uh, that I kind of want to play an affordable deck yay yeah yeah, so last week we did a, a pretty expensive deck. This one's like $30. Um, you could probably cheapen it too. Like there's some... I'm not sure. Let's order by price. I think probably the most expensive card is like thir five to... Th uh, doing, yeah. I don't know that we have any cards like over $5. Like ghostly flickers is two fifty. Rancor's two dollars. <laughs> you can buy petrol and noodles with that day. I don't even know if you can buy like a full. T I don't think I could get a full tank of gas with this deck. Um, definitely could get noodles though. Um. And you could definitely swap cards out. Like this. Although, yeah, to be honest, like Ghostly Flicker, you could cut that card for something else. Counter Spell, you could take out. If you wanted to make this like a $25 brew, 30 will fill up like two thirds, I think. Yeah. Um, also, the mana base being $2 is great. Like we have. Six dollars worth of creatures. Our instants are our most expensive at uh, almost ten dollars. Everything else, like right, our sorceries are four dollars. Uh, that's all basically because of ponder. Ponder is two sixty-seven. So you could definitely cut this down. Um, probably at twenty-five dollars uh, for a much cheaper deck. But yeah, this is not. This is not an expensive deck compared to some of the other decks we've built on stream. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious, like, is if there's other decks that you uh, are interested in PDH and seeing us build, like, if you have a favorite uncommon card that you want creature, 
they want us to see uh, us build. Uh, I definitely would be interested in making more decks in this format. Uh, so if you want to either leave a uh, leave a comment on our in the VOD on this when it gets posted or message me on Twitter at uh, at magic underscore control. You can also tweet at, at control alt crit. Sean will probably pass that message on to me. Um, you can also join our Discord and message me there. Uh, you can post in our, we have a control magic uh, uh, channel. Uh, if you want to suggest a deck build for us there, we will always, always take suggestions. Um, especially if it's if it's a PDH card, I will probably do that deck. Yeah, and Carl, like we are, says definitely subscribe to us. Uh, give us a subscription on Twitch. Uh, if you have a Prime sub, use that. Uh, if you're on YouTube, uh, you can follow us. You can subscribe, can like, and subscribe. Comment on the videos. Anything helps. Uh, get us get us more reach and help us uh, do more things like Acon. Uh, Again, plug in that. We'll be there this weekend. Uh, also, be, Sean will be there Friday. Uh, oh, Storm Kill Nardis would be a very cool deck. Yeah, I'll definitely do that, Sean. <laughs> That's a really cool suggestion, yeah. Um, anything else left to plug? Probably no videos going up this week, just because we are going to Akon and we'll be busy prepping for that. Um... I'm sure Sean will confirm that. Uh, I don't think there also will not be. I'm guessing there's no suffering circuit unless we're doing an IRL stream, which I don't think we're doing. Uh, so that because we'll be at Acon on Friday, so I do not believe there'll be a suffering circuit stream uh, this week. Yeah, okay. Sean confirming progression series comes out next week. No suffering circuit this week. Akari, thank you. We'll have a great time and we'll take care of ourselves for sure. Uh, we'll drink lots of water and all that stuff. Uh, I don't think that's anything else to plug. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you for everyone on Twitch, on YouTube, in Discord. Uh, thank you for Goose for popping in as well. Akari and Sean on, on here as well. Uh, we're going to have say goodnight and y'all have a wonderful evening. <laughs>